<laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Tuesday. It is another live edition of Pickup Lines with your host, Ernie Zuniga. So thrilled to be here. And um, do not adjust your devices, ladies and gentlemen. I did not. I did not win the Powerball this week and buy myself a Ferrari. Um, however, uh, we are definitely inside a real Ferrari this morning. Uh, I, I'm just, uh, I just want to give you a moment to soak this in <clears throat> uh, and let our audience uh, settle in here with us and uh, come on in. So let's, uh, let, me, let me take care of some housekeeping here. This is Pickup Lines presented by Gomez Law Fights. I'm still gonna, I still gotta figure out how to put this darn glove on here. I know my thumb is not supposed to stick out of this thing. All right, here we go, Gomez Law Fights. Um, so, so, uh, practicing law rather, celebrating 50 years in San Antonio, Joe Gomez and Carmen and his family, um, so grateful for their support here as we get going on a Tuesday. But yes, I am inside a real Ferrari. I believe it's a Ferrari 812, but we're going to find out more about this beautiful car, uh, here in just a few minutes. We're at Prestige Motorsports this morning. I want to thank my sponsors who have been so generous and supportive and have just been along for this ride. And it's quite literally been a, a ride, crazy ride with pickup lines here. Mia's Mexican Grill and Holotus, Rudy's Flooring and Remodeling, Generations Federal Credit Union, the Nonprofit Council, and our friends at Absolute Power Electrical Contractors. Please take a moment to click on their, I've tagged them on this, uh, to click on their pages and uh, use them or support them however you can when you need stuff done, whether it's you need electrical work done or you need help with your financial decisions at Generations, or you want information on nonprofits, or you need remodeling done in your home with Rudy's, or you're just hungry and you want Mexican food, or you want a margarita, um, take a look at the Mia's Mexican Grill. And so, <clears throat> without further ado, let me bring in, let me bring in our, our guest here today. We're at Prestige Motorsports, and. <clears throat> um, we're gonna bring in. We're gonna bring in Ben Brunton. Ben, I was quite literally trying to open the door to the driver's <laughs> side of this Ferrari, and I couldn't figure out how to open the door. Can you tell I've never been in a Ferrari before? Yeah, it's right there by the hand. Okay, I was like, I don't want to hit the ejection button or something and then fly out of the car. But uh, thanks for doing this. I oh, appreciate course. this. I Welcome appreciate to pickup lines. Um, what can I say? I, after after this show. And if you want to crack the windows, I guess we can... How do you crack the windows in this thing? Well, right here, but we'd need to have the ignition. Okay, that's right, that's right. right. No, I was just saying, we can talk about the car and everything, because uh, I want to make sure we're comfortable in here. Uh, this is a beautiful car, and I want to talk about your place and everything in just a moment. But um, le let's talk about this beautiful studio that we're in here. Uh, tell us about the car. Yes, yeah, so this is a Ferrari 812 Superfast. Um, it's a naturally aspirated V12 engine. Um, it's it's one of the it's probably one of the the number one grand touring vehicles. Um, so unlike other you know sports cars, you wouldn't want to be taking a long ride in it. Okay. <laughs> but this is a lot more comfortable. So um, obviously you can take a long drive. You want it to drive to Dallas or Austin or whatever, and it's um, that's what they're made for. Okay. So just full disclosure, I, I don't know a lot about cars. So I hope to learn a few things today. But I, I I mean this is just an absolute gorgeous vehicle. Thank you. Who owns this car? So this one's actually my my personal vehicle. Yes, yes. It's, so it's, you would it, normally be sitting here. I would. Yes. 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 Yeah. No. It's um. It is a beautiful car. It's um. I've actually had one prior to this, and the reason I I like this vehicle is just because it's um. They're getting away from the V12 engines okay. and obviously going to the EVs and the electric. Right. Um. So this is kind of one going to be one of the last vehicles that's going to be normally aspirated. Okay. So it's kind of a collector's car for me. Okay. So, and I, I mean, I, again, I don't know a lot, but ballpark figure, what would one of these cars cost if I wanted to buy one? Um, you could probably find one for 400,000. Okay. Somewhere in that neighborhood. Okay. Depends on how many miles it's down. This one's very low mileage. I, do you get nervous driving this out on the street? I mean, it's pristine. <laughs> I could eat off of this car right now. Do you get nervous driving this thing? No, no, not anymore. I used to. Obviously, um, when I got my first uh, supercar, um, I was definitely nervous. I was right. like, I'm not sure I went over like 35 miles an hour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I was worried about the rims. I was worried about everything. everything. Yes. Yeah. So, um, no, not anymore. I think, you know, once you've got the experience of driving a car like this, you know, they all, 
typically are, are relatively straightforward to drive. You've got some some hyper exotics that are a little bit more difficult to drive. But, yeah. Um, this one, this one's actually pretty user friendly. I love it. All right. Well, people are joining us here. If you have any comments or questions for Ben, we'll, I'll, I'll do my best to try to find them and we can direct them to him. You will might notice the logo here, uh, Proceeds Motorsports in, in the black and the red behind us. And I'll talk about that in just a minute. But people who are watching or who don't know you will detect an accent <clears throat> and think, okay, well, he's not from San Antonio. <clears throat> right, right. So, um, yeah, I'm from the UK. Right. And I've been in the US for 24 years now. Did I read, did you grow up near Stonehenge? Yes, I did. Like the, yes. the Stonehenge. The, the Stonehenge, not the you know, Chevy Chase where no. he you know, knocks them over. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, the legit <clears throat> real Stonehenge. That is correct. Yeah, I was, I was born and raised about five minutes from Stonehenge in a, in a city called Salisbury. And it's uh, got one of the largest um, cathedrals mm -hmm. in Europe. So it's a beautiful city, lots of history. Um, it's just a lovely place to go visit. I would definitely recommend going in the summer, <laughs> not okay. in the winter, because it, it typically rains every day. So it rains and it's cold. So right now, this time of year, is yeah. it similar to the weather that we have here now? No, 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 no. It would be, they'll be getting some freeze, you know, some froze, frozen over there now. Um, it just depends. Um, listen, it could be one day it's sunny, the next day it's raining. Right. And it changes pretty quickly too. Okay, so I got to ask you then, because I'm fascinated by these kinds of things. In your opinions, what is Stonehenge? Stonehenge was, it was basically the Druids back in the mm -hmm. day. Um, and what's amazing about Stonehenge is the actual uh, rocks, the, the the rocks where they where they were cut from was uh -huh. in Wales. Yeah. Okay? And they didn't have any type of transport, you know, like... No big 18 wheelers so right. they had to roll these big rocks on on logs for literally hundreds and hundreds of miles and um quite why they decided to put it there was all to do with the the summer solstice to where the sun okay. all of that so yeah. there's a lot of historical there um and it's it, it really has changed there now because right. it made it look very touristy i get it no, but, no, that, no. but that's okay that's okay. okay that's fine that's fine um so then what brought you to the united states what brought you to san antonio <clears throat> well so united states i was actually um i'm a, a former two-time world champion clay target shooter so I was on the Beretta shooting team for 16 years and I was competing in the world championship in San Antonio and I <clears throat> met my now my wife of 25 years and that was uh, really how I ended up here. And the rest so, is history. You never left. History. Never, never, you didn't never go back to Stonehenge. No. Well, I did for it to visit. Right, right, right. <clears throat> but when I realized how, how amazing and how much opportunity there is in the United States, yeah. I was like, why would anybody not want to stay there? Yeah, yeah. So again, we'll get to Proceeds Motorsports in a minute because it's still a relatively new multi-purpose venue. And I, you can explain what it all is here in just a little bit. But obviously to own a car like this and to be able to see these kinds of dreams through you've had success uh, you know wealth or financial How, where did that all come from and what did you do before all this you know so i was actually um very active in the healthcare space um we actually um myself and my business partner uh, eric we we own and operated um 12 or 14 hospitals and mm. we actually still do now um, so that's, it's night and day, healthcare and then getting into cars. Right. Um, but, you know, getting into the car business has always been a, a passion of mine since I was growing up in the UK. I was probably the only crazy person that cleaned his car every single day, even though it rains every day. I so. don't find that crazy. <laughs> I like it. <clears throat> so that's really, you know, um, the, the healthcare piece is what enabled yeah. me to be able to get into this. And I just want to be able to you know, gift this and actually show people what's achievable. Right. Um, and there's so many different things that we offer here at Prestige to, to help people understand that. I've taken some pictures and videos and I'll post them later in the day. I, and this is just one car. You have, I don't know, what, a dozen cars we, here right now? We've got a dozen now? right now. And then uh, all of our inventory arrives um, within the next two weeks. So we will have a, a, a full house. Okay. So in layman's terms, and we're sitting out here, if you were to mm. look at this, we're near the airport. Yes, and it's a it's a large like metal structure, I guess aluminum building or whatever you yes. call it. But but you almost have to see it to believe it. How would you explain what Prestige Motorsports is to someone who doesn't know cars very well or who obviously has never been here? So <clears throat> Prestige Motorsports is a it's a it's a basically an environment, a a social club. It's a way for people that are like minded that like 
cars, and it doesn't have to be supercars, it can be any cars, um, that they can actually come and socialize with like-minded people. Right. You know, so that's really kind of how it, it, it got to that point. But uh, to start with, right. it definitely wasn't that. Right. So a few years back, um, when I started, you know, buying some of these nice, beautiful cars, um, I, I just thought about it, and my experience of going to a dealership was very kind of, you know, it's mundane, you sit there, you have to wait for the finance. It's not my back. favorite thing to do. And, and it, it typically takes half a day to buy yes, a car. Yes, yes it does. Um, and I thought to myself, well, we've got to be able to change that, the mm -hmm. way people think about that, because um, it, it just does get very, very mundane. So we created this um, in a way that, uh, like I said, we've got the storage facility, we've got the club element, we've got the dealership element, and we believe that there's, there's nothing like that in, in San Antonio. There are a few like it, maybe dotted around in Miami, mm -hmm. um, uh, California. Um, but it really did just start because I wanted somewhere to store my cars. Mm -hmm. Well, because I was tired of paying someone else to right, store my cars. Right. Um, and then so we decided to build a storage facility and then it turned into everything else that came with it. So it really did kind of escalate quickly. How many cars do you have? Um, I think I nine. Okay. Yeah, you need a. You can't just put it in. You don't have a nine car garage. No, in your no, house, no right? exactly. You, you need a place. So, if you were to come here, uh, there's the storage facility. It's climate control, obviously yes. indoor and everything. Yes. But you have a you have an F1 like state of the art simulator. You have a, a beautiful bars here for for cocktails. Big screen TVs all over the place. So as you said, like the, the social club aspect, I mean, people could come and just hang out here for a while. Yeah, and you know what we've, now it's built and it's and it's open. It's been amazing how it's kind of transformed and, and the amount of people that talk about, this is now a venue, you know, can we get married here? Right. Could we do office parties here, Christmas parties? So we... We definitely went down that road pretty quickly, and you know we've had some you know really nice events here. We just did a um, San Antonio Fashion Week event yeah. here that had um, you know two hundred people, I think. Um, and then <clears throat> it's just the, the venue aspect of it is is so nice, and we really didn't think about that when we first opened it. Right. So, but the beauty about it is, thank goodness you put a roof on it and AC and mm -hmm. fans and everything. Yes. Because the, I think the in mm -hmm. the middle of the summer. Or in winter when it's super chilly, you've got a place in here to um, have fun or do whatever right. you want to do. Yeah, and, and that definitely, this is beautiful weather we're having now, but when it's yeah. 105 outside, you definitely want to be inside. And you already have events planned as soon as Halloween. <clears throat> yes, we have a Halloween event that we should have. Um, we've already got a lot of people that have um, RSVP'd, so we should have 250 people. Um, so that's uh, on our website. Um, so we're very excited about it. Yeah, it's, it's it's a good time. We've got a we've got a New Year's Eve event that uh -huh. we are planning, um, and there'll be you know there'll be some Spurs related things that we're going to be doing. Okay. Um, as far as we're going to be taking some of our members to the game, um, and then obviously we we'll have the ring in the New Year here. I yeah, th that's going to be an amazing scene. Uh, you you mentioned F one, the the uh, Circuit of the Americas race <clears throat> is coming up. Yeah, so we have an F one watch party this coming weekend um because uh the, the f1 race is at coda mm -hmm. um so we're doing a watch party here and then people can also um get in and, and drive the f1 simulator well this is state of the art this simulator it was very very expensive it was made in the uk not far from uh, silverstone which is right. considered one of the home of f1 racing right 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 um so that that arrived and um it's it's an experience, that's for sure. So, do you like to? You personally like to drive fast, like yes, super fast. <laughs> like, I mean, I don't want to get you in trouble or anything, but because I know it's tempting. No, 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 and the car is capable of doing of course more, more than that. This will do 205 miles an hour. 205, yeah. zero to 60 in like... Three seconds. Oh my gosh. I mean, uh, yeah. do you, do you said you, have, you own nine, 10 cars. Do you have a favorite? You know what? I do have a favorite, but it is not this one. What? You know, I know this is a beautiful car, but my <laughs> daily driver is actually my favorite. And okay. that is uh, an Audi RS6. And it's uh, everyone over here in the US <laughs> refers to it as a wagon. 
Yeah. Um, but we call it an estate car um, in the UK. I like that better. That's yeah, more sophisticated. It's yeah, exactly yeah. right. An yeah, estate the, car. The, the, the wagon element, it reminds right. me of like that, that, that vacation movie. And you go, yes, <laughs> yes, the, the family trucks. The family yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is certainly not that. No. Or, or neither is your Audi. I don't. No, no, neither no. is your Audi. Um, do you name your cars? No, I don't. Because I don't want to get too attached to them because otherwise yeah. I don't sell them. So well, the, cause I, and then that's a component of what you have here because correct. you will not have this car forever. But but that's part of the deal is if people said I want this car, you you could acquire it. You could help them acquire it. Absolutely, we have all the financing in place. But the nice thing is also what I try and do with any vehicle we have is I I try to set up a vehicle with aftermarket items also mm. um, with all the paint protection the tint everything like that and I set them up to be how I would like them set up right um, which I feel you know, does give it a nice a nice look um, but we have that full capability to do all of the aftermarket stuff also here yeah I read that you have plans beyond San Antonio to to bring this kind of experience to other markets yes we sure do we're actually um, right now actively um, getting started in Dubai so well over there, I mean supercars like this are like every other right, vehicle, that's, yeah, every that's, other vehicle that's, that's on the road. Common. And there's so much there's a lot of money over there, let's just be honest. Yes, right? there is a lot of money over there. And then we're also um we are approaching uh getting some contracts in place for Austin and uh West Palm Beach. Very cool. So just areas where you know we feel there's a good fit for this. Um, you know, like I said, San Antonio was just because we live here. Um, it, it's kind of the place that we wanted to start out. Um, right. So it's our flagship facility. So some of the other facilities might be a lot bigger than this. Right. Um, this is 19,000 square feet with our mezzanine level. Um, but some of the others might be 40,000 square feet, depending on how the storage element um, the, yeah. on the dealership side. And you, but you plan on staying in San Antonio yes. as your home yes, base yes, and everything. Yes. Uh, so Stella, or, or, or I think it's I think it's Stella or Stella is asking about website and where, where people can find you online and everything. Yeah, so our website, www.prestigemotorsports.us. Um, and then obviously we are on, on Instagram, YouTube, and I'm not the... The blogger. So you're not the, not the social media director. Guru. No, I'm no, not. No, you're not the guru. <laughs> um, I, I, I mean, prestige, the name, I, I guess it makes sense. I was just curious what inspired you to call it that or... I think just the idea of the pinnacle, just, just the, mm -hmm. you know, the best. And like you, you alluded to, you know, we've got some beautiful, clean cars and that's the image that we want to portray. And that's what we actually are delivering. Um, so we just want the experience to be prestige for all of our members. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, goodness gracious. It's, uh, it's a lot to, a lot to kind of take in. And I think unless, unless people have been here and actually seen like you have, right. you, you see, but you know, what's all involved, you know, with the, we got the two bars, we got the, the food, the, 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 you know, all the, all the lunch and dinners and we're going to have, um, watch nights. We're going to have so many different events. Yeah. Um, at the club so people can feel really really connected no I love it uh, I was here when you had like your opening your grand opening which was like a full-scale party with bars and, yes. and, 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 and a band yes. and the cars and everything so I, I have that experience of what this is like as a, as a venue and then obviously I just walked in there a little while ago and the cars are there and it, it's hard not to like just lose your mind when you walk in and again <laughs> yeah. i don't know a lot about cars but were you concerned because i don't know that i mean correct me if i'm wrong san antonio is known for a lot of things maybe not exotic cars correct. were you concerned when you when you conceived all this that this may not work as well as i wanted to in san antonio no never worried about hmm. it because san antonio is a good market because there's there is a lot of wealth here also but there's also you know opportunity because you know we're not a big metro city like uh like dallas mm -hmm. um or houston um and we just feel that we wanted to open up an opportunity to this city and this community um to actually be able to have those experiences also you don't have to be in dallas and houston but right. i wasn't worried about it because the the amount of feedback that we've been getting has been so uh, popular um, and, you know, it, it's been positive and uh, we, we've had a lot of people coming by getting membership. So that yeah. tells me we've got got it right. That's fantastic. We have a few more minutes here with Ben Brunton. He's the co-founder of Prestige Motorsports. That's the logo right behind us. And we're inside for people who joined us late or, or who are just now coming on. We are inside one of your personal vehicles and this is a Ferrari 812. 812 Superfast. Yes.
And I bet it is super fast. Oh, <laughs> it really is. That's why they named it that. Yeah. It's... Are you currently in the market for a different vehicle? Or what's on your what what is on your wish list? Oh, it's it's a very, very difficult question. <laughs> it's like saying to a kid, which which is which your favorite candy? Right. Now, there's uh, so many. All there, of them. There are so many. I it just I love Lamborghinis, I love McLarens, I love all of it. Um, but, you know, it's not all just about that. Because we're a dealership, right? you know, we can source um, any vehicle for anybody. It could be, right. you know, a pickup truck, it could be a, a Ferrari, but it could be a, you know, Infiniti or a Lexus. I mean, we, we can, you know, source all of that for, for our clientele. Um, but also what's nice is that the membership, when they start getting together, they start talking about, well, you know, I really like your cars. Can yeah. we trade? And can we, you know, so it's a really good environment. No, you get car lovers together. Well, we have car clubs, right. low rider clubs, right. car clubs all mm. over the city. And you get that demographic, those people together. Yes. And they could go all day long talking. Right. You, right. you can see that. Yeah. And then, you know, we organize drives so that you can have a drive on a, on the weekends, meet here, have some, have some tacos and some coffee. Go out for a drive into the hill country, oh, it's fantastic. and then come back here and you know have a you know, get your get your car you know detailed, clean, put back up, have a cocktail and something to eat, and and go home. Done. So give us an idea of, of the membership <laughs> aspect, and then if if just an average person wanted to come and see this place, look at the cars, take pictures of the cars, mm -hmm. can they do that? How does that work? By appointment only. Okay. Um, when it comes to that, obviously members have um, access at all times with a key fob. Um, but yeah, that, that's kind of what we're doing right now. We're having it as a, it's an open house at the moment so that uh, we can have people obviously just to come in and come and see what it's all about, which I think is really, really important. So um, yeah, but by appointment only typically yeah. um, other than the members. I can literally see the airport Right. I mean, <laughs> we're like walking distance from the airport yes. to give people an idea. Um, <clears throat> why did you choose this space, this, right. this part of the city? Great, great question. So typically, a lot of the dealerships are starting to move up I-10. Mm -hmm. And what we found is when we did our market research, well, what that's doing is it's catering to a lot more people in the, the north side of the mm -hmm. city, not so much the Alamo Heights downtown mm -hmm. crowd. So they essentially have got a very long drive to go to a dealership. It could be 30 minutes. Okay. Well, we did this, so we are right bang in the middle um, of, you know, obviously, downtown, Alamo Heights, Terrell Hills, and then also we've still got the, the Stone Oak and, and people from up north. So it was all about location. And then another part of it with our, our corporate partners that they can have executives fly into the airport and they can have a day pass and come and uh, hang out at Prestige Motorsports. Very smart. Okay. Very and, smart. And then professional teams that come in also, when they are going back to their plane to ride home, they can stop by here and uh, have a little fun. Very smart. <laughs> uh, that, no, that, that's really cool. Um, I would imagine you've heard from people from all over the state, the the country, the world, mm -hmm. interested in what you're doing. Yes, yes, so correct, yeah. So, you know, we want to be able to just take this footprint, like I said, different sizes slightly, right. but take this footprint and dot them all over the U.S. if possible. Yes, and I know your wife, uh, and, and, and she's all in with this and super supportive. Mm -hmm. She's got a pretty cool car herself. Yeah, I don't want to talk about that because it's way too fast, and she gives me a hard time because uh, she's got a faster car than I do. So well, wait a minute, wait a minute. That's, <laughs> I know, who made that decision? I, wait a minute. Yeah, it, well, it was a it was a Christmas gift I got for her. Such a fault. Toned up on Christmas Day, <laughs> and now she will not let me live it down because she's got a Porsche 911 Turbo S, which zero to sixty is two point six seconds. So oh my god, crazy! But that's got to be cool though. Mm. To ha ha was she always a car enthusiast like yourself? You know, we've been married for 25 years so it's kind of we were very young when we got together and then uh, we started watching f1 together the right. f1 racing yeah, and yeah. she started seeing some of the cars come home and said i think i want one of those <laughs> <laughs> for christmas so yes yeah, so now she's uh yeah she, she loves cars absolutely loves cars loves f1 loves what we're doing here she comes to all the events yeah so. Yeah, no, I, I, I know, I know her, and she's, she's fantastic, and that, that's great. And I bet you guys have some fantastic kitchen table conversations oh, yes. about cars. Definitely, yeah, it, it, daily, yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, it's, it's a passion.
I would imagine, too, if you ever had kids come through here, I would just love to see the expression on their faces. Absolutely love it. And, you know, that dovetails into something else that, you know, our, our community outreach. Yes. Um, you know, as, as you, you well know, we, we donated 150,000 yes, to the race. Just there. about to ask you about that. Yeah. Um, so we are very excited about that, um, to actually get out there for scholarships for kids. But we also, we're going to be doing, <clears throat> excuse me, um, events here where kids can come in and actually see the cars because unless you can actually see it, touch it, feel it, then you've got to be able to aspire them to, to actually be better and right. to actually, to reach for bigger goals. It's one thing to have the poster on the wall in your room, but it's another thing to come here and actually see the yes, car itself. Yes, that is correct. Because yeah. honestly, when you see these cars in person, it's night and day. I can't. No, seriously. I, and I'm gonna. I, as soon as we're done here, I'm gonna start posting some videos and everything. Uh, and just, to, I just wanted to repeat what he just said because uh, obviously I'm on the royal court for Ray Feo, 75, John McFadden, and Stephanie Garcia, who's La Reina Linda 10. Uh, would you guys, you, you mentioned you made that donation $150,000 just a couple months ago and everything. And, and I know that yes, that's going to make such a tremendous impact. So it's cool that, that you're able to use these cars for a bigger purpose. Yeah, no, definitely. You know, because it's all about community, you know, yeah. and that's what we're trying to do is that community outreach, but also get people knowing that we're here, knowing that they can come by and, and enjoy what we've, what we've built. That's what, that's what it's all about. And, you know, I'm, I'm fascinated with the Ray Feo uh, Foundation. It's just, it's amazing to me. And I got um, exposed to it just probably about eight years ago yeah. um, with a good friend of mine. And uh, I just found it fascinating going downtown and watching all the, the, the events. Uh, it was just, it's amazing. So we're, we're definitely a big part of it. We will continue to be a big part of it. What's going to happen now is because of all the Fiesta parades, anytime somebody <laughs> needs a cool car for a parade, they'll be like, hey, Ben. <laughs> exactly. Ben, my, yes. my buddy. Can I call in a favor? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, no, can you imagine like this, like the, being in the Battle of Flowers parade or something and just right. this thing go, you know, squeaking by, you know. It needs that, to be on a float. What we should have is a float with... Several with, of your cars on Yes. This. Can you yes. imagine? Uh, no. I, now, will you do a Fiesta medal? Yes, definitely. Okay. Yes. That is no question about it. We um, we were just too late, you know, obviously, because mm -hmm. now we're just open for last year. But, oh, we will definitely be doing that. I love it. So um, just rem remind everybody here, a couple more minutes with Ben, uh, the, the Halloween party coming up here, I think, in, the, what, a, a week? Yes. Uh, on the 26th, I yes, believe, sir. which is yep. Thursday, a week from Thursday. Yes, yes. That's on the uh, 26th. Yep. Yeah. And then you said there's an F1 watching party, New Year's party. If people want to find out more about all these things, the memberships. Uh, all the services, the concierge and everything, because it's a lot, um, go on to their social media. You're on all the... You said, yes. you're not the social media I'm guy. I'm not. I'm not. That, but that just confuses there. me. But yes, we are on there. Yeah. Um, okay. So, I just... I don't want to leave. I don't want to... I just... <laughs> I'm trying to think of ways to stall so I can save this car. Um... No, because I could, literally couldn't even open the door <laughs> a few minutes ago. But, You're stuck um, in here now. So, again, part, forgive my ignorance. What, what year model is this? This is a uh, 2021. Okay. So, again, for people who are just joining us, because it's got so many buttons, it almost looks like an F1. You can see the steering <laughs> wheel and everything. Yeah, there's there's a lot of uh, yes, there's a lot of things that can get you in trouble. Just not a lot there. of not a lot of space in the back for the kids and the dog and everything. No, but. no, just it's one suitcase. That's it. one little <laughs> one little overnight bag, and you're good to go. I love it. Listen, this has been just such a thrill. I've been looking so forward to this. And um, again, I'm gonna have to go back into my little car and do a, the next show. Um, and unless Ben will let me borrow this, yeah. but. Um, this is fantastic. I'm so thrilled for you. And if people want to find out more, it's Prestige Motorsports right here by the airport. Uh, just eye candy all over the place. It's like sensory overload. <laughs> uh, but but I'm, I'm thrilled for you and your family and everything and what you're doing. And I hope we can do this again sometime soon. Thank you very much. There you have it. Ben Thank Brunton, co-founder of Prestige Motorsports right here by the airport. Look them up on your favorite social media platform or online and uh, find out more. And if nothing else, just take a look at those beautiful cars. Again, I'll post some of them here in just a little bit. But this has been another edition of Pickup Lines presented by Gomez Law Fights. Have a fantastic Tuesday. and We'll see you again very soon right here on Facebook. Take Thank care. Thank you. <laughs>